Hello, you are watching Cat News, and now today's exercise. Prime Minister Phạm Minh Chính has just started to approve the investment policy adjustment of the Mi An Cao Lan Express Three construction investment project first phase using Korean RDA loans. A conference to summarize the party inspection and supervision work in 2023 and implement tasks in 2024. In order to meet the need for blood for emergency services and treatment of patients before, during and after Lunar New Year 2024, Gunter continues to mobilize 10,000 people to register to donate blood. Top news. Prime Minister Phạm Minh Chính has just decided to approve the investment policy adjustment of the Mi An Cao Lan Expressway construction investment project first phase using Korean RDA loans. Accordingly, the Prime Minister agreed to adjust the total investment and capital structure for project implementation. Especially the total investment of the project is about 6,209.77 billion Vietnamese dong. Mi An Galan Expressway Construction Investment Project Phase 1 has an estimated length of about 26.6 kilometers. The project's starting point connects to Rao An 2 in Mi An Tao area Dong Tap, and the ending point connects to Anwen Intersection under the Central Mekong Delta Area Connection Project. Investing in the construction of Mi An Galang Expressway first phase will effectively promote the project connecting the central Mekong Delta region, complete and connect N2 route, Ho Chi Minh Road, and the Western North South Expressway. On the morning of January 4, Gunter City Party Committee held a conference to summarize the party inspection and supervision work in 2023 and implement tasks in 2024. Deputy Chairman of the Central Inspection Committee Hoàng Trọng Hưng, leader of Area Department 8, Central Inspection Committee Agency, attended. In 2023 inspection and supervision work implemented promptly, the contents are focused, high quality, high specialized, and consistent with the implementation of local political tasks. Party committees at all levels have inspected more than 530 party organizations and 317 party members with 96 members at all levels. Party committees at all levels supervise nearly 500 party organizations and more than 430 party members. Inspection committee at all levels supervise more than 400 party organizations and nearly 160 party members. Applications, denunciations, and complaints are reviewed and resolved promptly following regulations. Working with Fuzishu Group Japan on implementing the project technical support improving land management capacity for Gunter construction on January 3rd, Standing Vice Chairman of Gunter City People's Committee Yung Tung Hien hopes that the project will be implemented soon to contribute to digital transformation in the land management system in the city. In terms of project documents, Kansas City will coordinate and request Fujitsu to influence the commitment of foreign sponsors as well as ensure appropriate equipment and technology to start the project. Regarding processes and procedures, Kansas City will ask for opinions from Ministry, Central Departments, and Standing Committee of the City Party Committee as a basis for Kansas City People's Committee to approve the project. Regarding the proposal to establish a working group to serve food research project, city leaders assign the Department of Natural Resources and Environment to advise Kansas City People's Committee. At the same time, assign relevant departments to coordinate in implementing the next steps. On the afternoon of January 3rd, Gunter Lottery Company conducted a review of the collective and individual leader sub unit in 2023. Standing Vice Chairman of Gunter City People's Committee, Yung Tung Hing, attended. Outstanding in 2023, Gunter Lottery Company achieved and exceeded many important targets, such as sales revenue reached 6,320 billion Vietnamese dome. Average consumption rate reached 100%. Budget contribution was 1,825 billion Vietnamese dong. 
In particular, Social Security work was carried out by Gunther Lottery Company with a total budget of 26.7 billion Vietnamese dong last year. Speaking at the conference, standing vice president of Gunther City People's Committee, Yung Teng Hing, evaluated the efforts of the company's leadership in both party work and production and business tasks, continue to maintain the provisions of law and the chromatic regulations, strive to overcome limitations with specific solutions, and strive to complete successfully the task of 2024. Working spirit has changed positively. Achievements have improved compared to 2022. This is the opinion of Chairman of the City People's Committee Trung Viet Trung at the inspection meeting with the Department of Natural Resources and Environment on January 3rd. According to the report, in 2023, the party committee and leaders of the Department of Natural Resources and Environment of Kansas City have completed 11 by 11 task targets as planned by the City People's Committee. During the year, the department was suggested by the State Committee of Kansas City Party Committee to deeply review two issues regarding leadership, direction, and organization in implementing the instructions of the Standing Committee of the City Party Committee and the People's Committee, which were still slow and incomplete the requirements and consulting and implementation of a number of professional tasks according to functions were still slow and not achieved in a timely manner. Regarding the above content, the department's leaders said that they had advised the City People's Committee to submit the land use plan for the period 2021-2025 for approval from October 2023, but up to now it has not been approved. Thus, this is an objective course based on the limitation and shortcomings that have been pointed out the City's Department of Natural Resources and Environment seriously learns from its parents. At the same time, robust corrective measures in 2024. In 2023, passenger transportation at Gunther International Airport achieved many positive results with an increase in the number of vehicles, flights, and the number of passengers transported. During the year, the port carried out an average of over 2,500 domestic and international flights, transporting nearly 450,000 passengers. This is a year when the number of flying passengers increased compared to many previous years, from 25 to 27 flights per day. Preparing to transport passengers during this year's TED holiday, the port will increase frequency, time and flights, strengthening the work of ensuring aviation security and safety from ticket control and baggage control at ports to onboard management of aircrafts has also been tightened. In order to meet a need for blood for emergency services and treatment of patients before, during and after Lunar New Year 2024, Gunter continues to mobilize 10,000 people to register to donate blood. The Voluntary Blood Donation Campaign for TED and the 2024 Spring Festival with the message, Donate Blood, Give Life, takes place from January 11 to March 10. At the city level, mobilize 10,000 people to register to donate blood and receive at least 7,400 units of blood. In particular, strive for at least 65% of blood units with a volume of 350 milliliters. The city also mobilized members of the Reserve Blood Donation Club and people with rare blood types to be willing to donate blood during the Lunar New Year holidays to promptly provide the necessary amount of blood for emergency and treatment. Recently, at the city level historical relic Tan Hoa Communal House, Thuc Nok Ward, Thuc Nok District, the Ki In Harding Festival took place. This is one of the two annual Ki In Festivals solemnly organized by the Community House Worship Committee and local people to pray for good rain, peaceful winds, lush crops, prosperous and happy people and harmony. Time is an opportunity to commemorate heroic martyrs and those who have contributed to the people and the homeland. 
Tanhua Community House was established around the mid 19th century, has experienced over 100 years of existence, and is honored to be ranked as a city level historical and cultural relic by the People's Committee of Kansas City in 2016 and is preserved by people concerned local traditional cultural values. And now, a quick check on weather condition. Thank you very much for your attention. Please visit us on website, kentv.vn. Bye for now. Thank you.